Hey everyone, me Kevin here. The day has come. We are taking delivery of my own Phenom 300E. I am so excited. It is an awesome jet and I want to show it to you. This behind me is actually a 2015 Phenom. We flew in on this one to come pick up this one right behind me. I'm so excited. This is this is so cool. I mean, there there have been a couple days that I've been really excited to like go pick up something. One of those days was in December of 2017. I picked up my Tesla Model X. Boy, that was really exciting. But I'll tell you, this, oh my gosh, I like this is a new level of uh, of freedom to to travel. Uh, for work. We're going to be hunting so many wedge deals for house hack. I will say it's a little cold right now. It's 28. I did not dress for this. It's Texas. I didn't think it got that cold here, but that's all right. Let me show you the plane. So this is it. This is the outside of the plane. It is a plane that can be flown single pilot. The 300E is uh, the model. That's the enhanced model. It's uh, the newer model. It's got this really awesome exterior, which this is all painted. You can't wrap planes. They have to be painted apparently, uh, or at least I've been told, but it's got this sort of circuit board design to it, which is super cool. We're going to keep that. I'm going to tell you about the new tail number we're going to get, which is super, super exciting. So I'll have to walk to the other side, of course. But uh, yeah, these are the wings. They look super cool. Again, it's so 2021. I was looking at 2010s. I looked at 08s. Uh, and you could save a little bit by getting an older plane, but you could tell it's an older plane and it just wasn't worth the difference because most of the expenses for having one of these planes really are the maintenance, the engine hours. Every hour that this thing is in the air, you're spending about 100 bucks per engine. Two engines, that's 200 bucks for an engine program. So uh, most of the expense of a plane really is owning it. Uh, and the difference between this plane and a plane that's maybe $3 million less really didn't make that much of a difference since we were financing it. It made maybe about a, an 11% difference once we considered all of the costs because you have pilots anyway. You've got the engine programs you're paying for hourly anyway. The gas is the same. Everything is the same. So we decided to go for a newer plane, something that we could really use for a good five to 10 years uh, before uh, selling it and maybe hopefully upgrading. But anyway, uh, the, this is the current tail number. But what I want to do is I want to put a uh, nice P right there and then maybe a P right here. So we get our PP up here. And then the tail number that we're registering is uh, 69 for PP. And that's because we expect that the fee, by the time we're able to change this tail number within about six months, we expect the uh, fee for the ETF uh, that I run to drop to about 69 instead of 77 basis points. No guarantees, of course, but that's sort of my plan. And so I think that'll that'll be really cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is just it's so incredible just looking at this this and it's like, wow, it's it's mine. <laughs> it's weird. So let me take you inside. One thing that I really liked about the inside of this plane is most planes seem to have like this earlier 2000s or late 2000s beige leather. So it's either like a light beige or a darker beige. And then you get like the uh, the wood colors that kind of remind you of the 90s. I'm so excited about this jet because it's a modern looking jet. It looks awesome. Let's go inside. So this is the inside and I love this. It's got the bench over here. These are all belted. So uh, this is uh, it's a smaller jet. I call it a little baby jet. Uh, it's it's a whole new world for me. It's uh, very expensive and I got to make sure that I never leave this uh, world. Right. So that's the most dangerous part is you go into uh, jet ownership and you go big. You buy a plane that's too big or you get an older plane that has substantially higher costs per hour because it's older and therefore has higher maintenance, but it's bigger. Uh, you, you, I think you put yourself into too much risk. So I really wanted to go for something that was just right for the purpose that I needed. And that's this. It's got nine seats. So we got two over here. Uh, this is so cool, by the way. Look at just this carbon fiber design over here on the side. I don't I think these pop out. Yeah, look at that. These pop out. And Embraer, the manufacturer of this plane, Brazilian company, they um, 
They did this because when people would come into the plane, they would frequently bump or their, their knees would hit this or their baggage would hit the side. So now those kind of fold in, which is pretty neat. What's also pretty neat is the design of these seats is awesome. Really, really cool how they have that separate uh, headpiece right here. And one of the things that I really like that these can do, let me see if I can figure out how to do it on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. These can really rotate a lot, the seats. So what I'm thinking is when we sort of have team meetings, I got to figure out exactly how to do that. There we go. We want to kind of be able to tilt the seats sideways, each of them, so we can also chat with the folks who are sitting in, in these seats. So that way they can kind of move their seats up, right? And then we could have this sort of six person in this region here uh, meeting. If we've got, you know, a couple other people, we got a bench over here, we got two pilots, but this is, this is just amazing. It's so cool. Uh, take a look too at even just how these windows are done. Look how nice this is. It just feels super cool. And uh, I mean, it looks amazing. These seats here come with these uh, tables as well. So I'll pop one of these open. Super nice colors too here. This is so cool. So we'll be able to do our, our work and our team meetings in here. Ooh, this is so exciting. I, I cannot wait for the deals we're going to be able to hunt for uh, in this and the kind of work that we're going to be able to do, the team building we're going to be able to do. We're, this is cool. If you come back over towards this side. I'll move this in a little bit. There we go. If you come to the back, what's cool about back here is you actually have right here is uh, a little bathroom that is actually serviceable from the outside. So unlike an RV where you kind of have to like take the stuff through the cabin, uh, you don't have to do that. This lav is serviceable from the outside. And it's also belted, so a ninth person can sit here. And what's cool, it's so cold, I don't even think I can do this. Uh, there we go. This uh, this has a door on each side that uh, that we can close off so someone has privacy and they want to go to the bathroom. A little sink over here. I believe there's also, let's see here. I don't know, what else do I want to say? Ooh, there's first aid down here, fire extinguishers. Uh, that's a little water tank. Let's go look at the front together. So this is the front of the plane. This is, it's off right now, but uh, this is so exciting. And it's, it's also really weird to think that I own this. Like this is my yoke. That's my yoke. These are my togas. <laughs> they say toga. That's, so that's what I call them. Those are the thrusts, right? This is really cool. Uh, I'm so, so excited. And uh, this, is a, this is a whole new world. And I can't wait to take you along on this journey. And what, what is so exciting about it is that uh, th this, is, this is the next level of our YouTube channel that we have all built together. I have to thank you in part, uh, of course, for being a viewer and the people you've recommended for being viewers and the people who have joined the programs on Building Your Wealth, link down below and use that coupon code or sign up for Weeble or whatever. Or you come here to learn about real estate or fundamental analysis or the market or news or whatever. A anyone uh, who has watched the channel, I, I sincerely owe you a great thanks. Uh, this is a tool that is an investment into the future of the channel and the businesses that we can grow together. And uh, I won't let you down on it. So I'm very, very excited about this. By the way, we're going to be making a lot of flights to find the best areas to invest in in real estate. And if you want to learn what I'm looking for with me in person, where basically you come visit me at Oxnard, California at 11 a.m., we're going to go fly somewhere, myself, the team, and our pilots. We're going to go look at real estate. You can hang out, talk to me all day long. We'll go get dinner together. And when we come back and land, it'll probably be somewhere around 8 o'clock. And you'll have had a chance to come fly with me in uh, this very new plane. So if that is of interest to you, check out the link down below in the description. So this is kind of cool. We get a little curtain here to separate off the pilots. But honestly, we probably won't ever use that because... Once we have staff pilots, we want them to be part of our company. 
we want them to be part of everything that we're doing, whether we're flying or not. So we're very, very excited for them to be part of the businesses as well. So over here, you kind of have a refreshment center. You can throw some drinks up here. You've got uh, drawers with snacks. So that's really nice. D, the owner, the owner, coolest guy ever, left us some of his snacks. Look like looks like we had a cashews and M&Ms over here. You could um, have a, a hot pod over here. This is basically where you could put pre-made coffee in and you slide it in here and then you could fill up uh, your coffee on the go. It also keeps it warm for you. Uh, getting a real coffee maker in here would be a little expensive, but it is possible. Uh, cooling drawer over here for cooled, chilled waters. Got some more drawers down over here. And uh, I believe one of these is trash. Yep, there's a little trash can as well. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is right here, you have this little drawer under the seat. And uh, I call this the gun storage drawer. Look at that, it's just perfect for guns and ammo. <laughs> Cause guess what, there ain't no TSA. <laughs> what do you think, dad? Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. Thank you. So over here we have uh, power and a USB plug. But what's neat is the other plane, the 2015, only had one here in the middle. And this plane actually has one outlet for each seat. So every seat gets a dedicated outlet. It's kind of cool. A little storage over here for I don't know what. Uh, oh, I know alcohol of course yep there you go solved see one of the things you have to remember is you can't get a dui on a plane <laughs> just don't fly <laughs> i don't know why but technically this seat is uh is like the main passenger seat so this seat usually has some fancy additional controls for the plane now i haven't done this yet but let's go find out. So right here, aha, yes it does. It has uh, not only a little phone, and with this phone I can talk to the pilots or I could also make a satellite phone call if I needed to. So this is sort of like your executive seat, right? But I also have this. It shows me you will arrive in 59 minutes, okay? But now what we're also gonna do is I can play with the lights. Oh, there are a bunch of presets here, that's cool. Reading lights. I'm pretty sure I can change the color temp. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait for it. Color temp to warm. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like you got Philips Hue on a plane, except I only have two settings. Well, I have, I have white, bluish, and then the orange. <laughs> we'll stick with the 6,000. This thing hauls. Oh my gosh, it's fast. This we one's faster. We got engine, yeah? Oh. Oh, that's the E, baby. Uh, so that is actually something I was reading on, on the papers, but I didn't think it was real, but like, I didn't think I would notice a difference is what I mean. I knew it was real, it's on the papers, but E is enhanced and it has stronger engines a faster flight speed, shorter takeoff distance because it has so much more thrust on takeoff. And it's actually slightly more fuel efficient than the non-E version, the older version. Dude, that takeoff was like instant. <laughs> That's so cool. So if I do this and then this. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Phones <laughs> vertical. <laughs> nice. This is another new feature on the uh, newer uh, plane here. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. Wow, that's nice. Look at that, Dad. Because the other one didn't have this. Oh, it's on a little gimbal or a little axle at least too. But yeah, it shows us, here we go, flying to Tulsa, 50 minutes. Looks like, oh, that's cool. We have to, uh, we have to pack that in. Huh? We have to fill up and pack that in. Uh, I don't know, that's a good question. And so it looks like here we can do video. So we'd have to put some kind of source in, uh, which looks like we got HDMI, Blu-ray, media, Bluetooth. Ooh, I want to try that. I don't think I've ever Bluetoothed onto a plane. 
my phenom. Okay, I'll try. Wow, there it is, I'm connected. No way. There we go. We got an Aerosmith now on the plane. Oh, so we, we can see the speed here too? Oh yeah, I wonder if we can change that to miles. There we go, 378. Check out this, this is pretty cool too. When you go to put the table away, on the last one you had to open the lid yourself. But with this one, when you just lift this, it senses that you're lifting this and it lifts that for you automatically. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Let's do that one more time. There we go. Boom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know what they say, new is nice. <laughs> this is pretty nice. It's not bad. Yeah. The only problem is when you're, you change elevations or you're still climbing and you open this, this stuff goes sliding. So my dad's like, we gotta put something here. <laughs> like a little matted mat. And it comes with life vests under our seat. Yeah. <laughs> See, pull tab. I don't ever wanna pull it. <laughs> so now we gotta talk numbers. Here's the thing about a plane. Planes are expensive. The only reason it would ever make sense to own your own plane is if you were flying three to 500 hours a year. Generally, people say the average that you should fly in a year to actually justify owning a plane, unless you're so wealthy that you're just throwing money away and you just want a jet to have it for whatever you want it. For a business person, you should be flying at least 400 hours a year. So if I do an average of 90 minute one way trip, that would be about a three hour flight. That would mean I really need to be taking somewhere around 130, 125 flights which is probably somewhere around two to three times a week, I gotta fly somewhere, which could be parts of Arizona, it could be Utah, it could be uh, Salt Lake, Portland, you name it. But we're gonna find wedge deals, and that's the whole purpose of this jet, is I wanna be able to make sure that I can operate a media business while operating a real estate investing business, and I'm the one making the buys. I see all the properties. So, some more numbers to know is, the variable costs on this plane are somewhere between 1,000 to 1,500 bucks an hour. The fixed costs on the plane, that would be like the loan for the plane, the pilots, the hangar, the insurance, the maintenance, and the non-variable costs are somewhere between 2,500 to $3,500 an hour, depending on how many hours you fly. You fly more hours, the per hour cost comes down. But I would say if you go with somewhere around in total, $4,500 to $5,000 a flight hour, that'll give you an idea of how much it costs to operate this plane, assuming you fly for about 400 hours a year. So that, at least that's roughly what we're budgeting. So we'll, I'll let you know after a year how it went, but I'm really excited. It's expensive and we're gonna have to put a lot of money into it, but it's gonna be wildly worth it, especially with what we're able to do with house hack. So we're more than excited. So there you have it. I am totally honored, honored, honored to own this jet. I am going to show the world how we are going to use this to grow our businesses. And I wanna share it all with you. It's so exciting. It's also kind of somewhat scary because it's like, this is big, man. It's a jet. <laughs> it's so cool though. Anyway, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna go inside. That's crazy. Welcome to my first flight.